Okay, Uber story time. So at two o'clock this morning, I pick up this guy. He said he's 25 years old and he's in trouble with his wife because he's been drinking. So I'm dropping him off at a different location other than his house. And he tells me that it's a friend's house. And then he asked me how much further we had to go. So I said, well, we have about two miles left. And he's like, wow, okay. And I said, have you never been to your friend's house before? And he said, no. And then he was quiet. And then he said, well, this is a girl's house. And I was like, okay. And he's like, sometimes I mess around with her. And he was laughing. And I'm thinking, wow, your wife is home mad with good reason. And you are going to hook up with the girl. We pull in. There are no lights. And I said, is she even awake? Does she know you're coming? And he's like, oh, she'll wake up. I was in a Uber pool and got along with the other passengers, but then the guy asked the driver to put on this Lil Uzi song and told me to record him. I was confused, but did it anyways long. <laughs> story time from when I used to Uber in college. So, I don't know if I told this story. I've told so many of these stories, I lost track. So, one time, I, oh, by the way, I never pick up the same people twice. I, that's happened to me two times, even though I worked all the time in the same spots. But one night, I picked these two girls up from their apartments and I dropped them off at their first party. From that first party, I see get a message two hours later that it's at the same place and it's the same girl. So I'm like, sweet. So I go there, I pick them up. The two of them that I had talked to before are now super drunk and they have a third girl who's even more drunk. First girl that sat in the front with me was like, oh, you're back, I'm so excited to have you again. I And before she can finish her sentence, drunk girl in the back pops up. She goes, is this the super hot Uber driver you had earlier? I can't even describe to you the level of red that girl's face was. I could like feel the embarrassment for her and she just didn't talk for the rest of the 10 minute drive. And I just kind of looked at her, I was like, it's okay. She was like. Yeah. Hey friends. Greetings from Uber. I'm headed to work and I'm in the car with this really, really nice Spanish guy. Why did I? I fucked up my hair. What the hell? Oh, anyway, so I'm in the car, in the car with him, chopping it up, talking. Sweet dude, older guy, really, really nice. He burps and he burps kind of loud. He excused himself, but I don't know. Like, the shit smell like hot dog water or like he just had mad beef jerky or beef jerky milkshake. Like, the whole car stunk. And then his window was open and my windows were closed. So that shit was just blowing back and making my eyes water. Like, I never wanted to get out of a fucking Uber so bad in my life. Like, I got out and I was like, inhale, exhale. Oh, this shit had me confused because it's like, if I could smell the burp through your mask and my mask, am I really, really safe from COVID? Hmm. <laughs> Yo, some of you guys are like the biggest creeps when it comes to Uber. So today I was waiting for my Uber and I was like looking at their bio and stuff like that. I do this mainly to see like the reviews so that I know if they're a serial killer or not. The person I got today, super nice. Uh, I'll actually link their TikTok below because that's what we were talking about. But like some of the reviews were like, yo, add me on the snap. What's the snap? Despite him being a creep, I still edited his uh, Snapchat name. Thanks for the ride home. Your car smelled A1. Like steak sauce? It didn't smell like steak sauce. Does that mean good? If you're an Uber driver, comment down below what the creepiest like story that you have. And if you're a passenger, Comment down below your worst passenger story. Um, oh my God, so wait, he said he arrived. I know. Is it this one? No. Check requests. Uh, what are you requesting? Knocking boots. But oh, what's that? You don't That's need a song. You don't it's a great play. song. It's a great. I guarantee it's a great song. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, welcome, my name is Rick. Oh, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Justin. Welcome, welcome, make yourself at home. There are some waters and mints and chips and stuff, so you can just snack on whatever. Oh, cool, great, thanks. My app says that you're going to LAX, quite a long ride, where are you headed to? I'm headed home to Japan to see my family for Christmas break. Well, that sounds cool. Asia. <laughs> yeah. So what's the weather like in China? Uh, what? The weather in China, it's December right now, so it's a bit cold, huh? 
I mean, I'd imagine so. You're headed there, shouldn't you know? <laughs> uh, not exactly, because I'm headed to Japan. Yeah, yeah, same thing, they're all in the same place. <laughs> I support our decision. I'm sure that we're gonna still have fun. I'm sorry. Please apologize. I think people are mad at me. No one is mad at you. You're so mad. Is anyone mad at Kira? I feel bad. I'm You're... mad at Kira. <laughs> oh, don't be mad at me.